Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Minute on the Mountain. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to do another uh, piece of gear review on today's video. My son and daughter-in-law were kind enough to get me the Dry Guy boot dryer for Christmas. And they got me the Simple Dry model. And that, that model doesn't use forced air. So that's one of the things that was surprising to me when I turned it on. You know, I thought for sure I would hear it, like I'd hear forced air being blown. But that's not how it works. It just works with convection and with, with kind of the natural circulation of the air. Uh, I just looked online. This retails at Dick's for $39.99. So just to give you guys an idea. I've already unboxed it. I've already used it. I wanted to use it before I gave you my, my thoughts on it. So again, it's, it's by Dry Guy. They have several models. This is the simple dry model. And this is the box that it came in. Just flip this around for you. It also works for shoes and gloves. I've used it on boots and gloves. It's got a 30 year warranty with it. And it's super easy to use, super easy to set up, no tools required. So it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And you start by taking and snapping in the base. So this is so that if you have any drippage or anything coming off your shoes, it goes in this tray and doesn't mess up your carpet. Then you put this piece on and this piece on. So that's what it's going to look like from the front. And then finally this piece. And then you just plug it in. Now obviously, your either your glove or your boot slides on right here. It does have a line on the unit that says not to let your boots go down farther than that because it, it inhibits the amount of airflow they get and it slows the drying time. So I went and pulled some trail cameras off the mountain last week. I've already posted that video. You guys have seen that video. And it was cold when I hiked up and the snow was deep. If you remember from that video, I was cutting fresh tracks in my snowshoes for over a half a mile. And so I had a ton of snow on the boots. And then on the hike down, it had gotten warm and all that snow had started to melt. Uh, the, the trail was super kind of just slushy. So my boots, they were wet for sure. And I put them on this and within three hours, they were completely dry. And I was surprised by that because I had dried out some gloves previously and the gloves, it took overnight for them to dry. Now, I don't know if it's a lack of airflow. So for the, for the boots and the gloves that I have dried with it, the boots dried significantly faster than the gloves did. Now, again, the, the gloves I put on there, they've got a pretty tight wrist collar. So maybe it just didn't allow enough air through there to... To really circulate but the boots I was totally impressed with how fast they dried you can't hear it when you plug it in there's no noise to it uh, it uses very little power I think it says it only uses 30 watts it says somewhere on the box uh, yep it says functions on just 30 watts so anyway for $39.95 $39 it was definitely a win for me I will use it on my boots every time they get wet and not to to gross you guys out, but my boots get wet, not just from rain and snow, but when I'm shed hunting, if it's hot at all outside, they get wet from sweat. <laughs> so hopefully this will uh, this allow me to keep my boots in, in better shape and I'll get a little more mileage out of them. But again, it's the Dry Guy Simple Dry Boot Dryer. And uh, again, I saw it on, on the internet at Dick's for $39.99. So I'm going to get this stuff put away, then we'll come back real quickly and do the Minute on the Mountain and the channel shout out, and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, the channel that I want to shout out tonight is FX Wales, Anna and Alf. Uh, they, they do some amazing videos. They just see some of the most gorgeous countryside and historic places in Wales. Uh, she always shares a ton of the history of the area. In fact, I, I feel like I get a history lesson every time I watch one of their videos, which... I'm kind of a history nerd, so I enjoy that. And you'll usually pick up a couple of words uh, in Welsh that she'll, she'll teach on the videos as well. So anyway, it's FX Wales, Anna and Alf. I'll put a link in the description. Do me a favor and check out their channel if you haven't already. And tell them Minute on the Mountain sent you. 
And then lastly, let's do the minute on the mountain. It's going to come from Psalms 19. It's, you know, I was thinking, man, how do you pick just one psalm? <laughs> Psalms just has so many great chapters to it. Uh, but we've been doing this tour of the Bible where I've been trying to go, you know, to the next book of the Bible and, and we're up to Psalms. So anyway, the Psalms, uh, the Psalm that I picked is Psalm 19, beginning in verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, they give light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. And that's not the end of the chapter, but that's, that's the part I'm going to focus on. The first thing I notice is it says the law of the Lord is perfect. It's not mostly good. It's not kind of good. It's perfect, and it refreshes the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, and they make wise the simple. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but God's statutes make me wise. They help me to make good decisions. The precepts of the Lord are right. They give joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant. They give light to the eyes. You know, it's God's word, God's truth, God's commands that, that really help me to see the world the way, the way I should see the world, the way the world really is. And then the fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, all of them righteous. In other words, they don't shift. You know, they're, they're not changing. God's decrees are firm, and all of them are righteous. And I know that's something that would, you know, a lot of people would probably argue in our culture today. And then finally, it just says they're more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They're sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. Not, I'll admit, there are a lot of times when I don't find God's boundaries to be sweeter than honey in the moment. I'm frustrated by it, or I want to complain about it. But when I really stop and think about God and his character and who he is, then I know that his, his laws, his precepts, his statutes, his boundaries, they're for my good and they're sweeter than honey. So that's Psalm 19. Take a look at it when you have some time this week. Sure appreciate you guys coming on. I hope you enjoyed the gear review. I've got a couple of other gear reviews coming up. And uh, also we should be getting out on some hikes and maybe some shed hunts here before too long. God bless you guys. We'll see you the next time we're out on the mountain.